So here's my new kite cam rig with the GoPro Hero HD camera. I have it on the back of a Prism E3 stunt kite. The camera itself with the battery in it is uh, about 3.6 ounces, I think. With all the rigging, it's about five and a half, maybe slightly more. My old rig with the Flip Minnow HD with the wide angle lens was about eight. So this is much nicer, flies a lot better. Now the first thing we have two R Sky Center tees, one front, one back. You can get these at uh, the kite shop for two fifty a piece. It's kind of pricey, but we need these R Skies because they have the distance between the two barrels here, and that gets us away from the spine far enough that we can fit these cross pieces in without running into the sail too much. Um, and there's two different styles. They have one that's six by six, six millimeter by six millimeter barrels, and then one that's uh, six by seven. I got the six by seven because the seven millimeters fits a P200 tube, which is what I have on the spine. And that's nice and snug. And then the six would fit a quarter inch dowel really well here. I had to drill it out because I'm using a P200 tube here too, but you could use a quarter inch dowel here and here and that would work just fine. And then we have uh, four standoff connectors, two front, two back. And these are like 50, 60 cents at uh, goodwinds.com. And I'm not sure what size to get. These are too big. I had to make it up with some tape, but I think if you get the point uh, one seven eight inch, I think it is. That should that should work. You might have to drill it out, but that's easy to do. And I just cut the corners off these sides so uh, to keep it from running into the sail too much here, and then reinforce with a little Dacron tape. And then we have four Premier Center tees. These are also good ones for like fifty sixty cents. And these are also seven by six. And so. I would use either a P200 tube or a fatter dowel, a 3 8 dowel that you might have to sand down for this cross piece. And then you'd have the 6 millimeter for these and these, because that's what I'm using, quarter inch dowel on the side of the camera. And this rod could also be quarter inch dowel, and that would fit into the 6 real well. Um, what I'm using here is 3.6 millimeter dowel. It uh, comes in a 4 foot length at Goodwin's for 519 you just want it long enough so it sticks beyond the camera far enough to tie into this other rod here. I just have it tied in with some rubber band here. And this is two millimeter rod. It also comes in a four foot section at Goodwin's for 319. And that just goes into some APA edge connectors on the lower spreader on either side. And I have some vinyl end caps glued into the rod. And also some vinyl end caps here and here. And these you have to shove through with the rod until the tip, tip sticks out and then you cut the tip off and that just makes up that extra space. Um, and I also have some one layer of aluminum tape just to give it a little more resistance there. And that two millimeter rod keeps the camera from doing this and uh, from rolling. That works really well. So you can slide the camera back and forth along this rod to compensate for you know the angle of the kite relative to the ground which will change depending on the wind speed the top of the window changes and that changes the angle of the kite relative to the ground so you can compensate for that by sliding this back and forth but with this camera the field of view is so wide that you probably don't need to do that I, I never move it anymore you just you know find a spot that works well for the normal speed of wind that you'd fly it in and you don't really have to move it um, and then for the sides, I just have quarter inch dowel here that I carved a flat spot off of where it um, goes against the camera housing just so, you know, keep it from ro rolling along the camera and also give it a little more service area for the sticky back Velcro to stick to. I just have a piece on the dowel and a piece on the camera and that's industrial strength, heavy duty sticky back Velcro comes in a pack for like four or five bucks at the hardware store. It's good stuff. And then I just snug everything up with some rubber bands. And of course you want to have these dowels back far enough that you can get the camera card in and out. <laughs> and also these there's ports on the other side here you want to leave access to. And I just have it covered up here with some electrical tape to keep the snow out of it. And this is really nice simple rig. It's The camera is super stable in there. And there's nothing working against anything else. Nothing's trying to pull out. It's just there and it's very stable. So you don't have to worry about anything coming apart in flight. Another nice thing about the rig, if, if you ever want to just fly the kite normally, you just pop it out here and here, and here and here, and then along the sides for this rod, and then you're just left with the two cross pieces, front and back, and those are less than uh, half an ounce between them, so 
I'd leave those in and then you can just fly normally. So the rig I really like, it's, it's just that the the kite doesn't like having a weight on its back like that, that, that low, goes into a pitchy wobble like this. You can fix it if you can move the camera far enough up the spine, but I can't with this camera because the field of view is too, so wide that um, if I move it up any further I get the kite into the into the shot. So I have to leave it about like there, but it's so light that it doesn't really do that much anyway. A decent wind stabilizes it pretty well, so I don't think it's going to be an issue. camera I I like the resolution is great the 1080p is great the colors are really nice image stabilization is really nice but I don't like the wide field of view it's great for you know adventure sports stuff down low but I don't like that fisheye distortion along the horizon when I'm up high it's not a real cinematic shot but I haven't quite flown enough to decide if it's going to be a, a real issue so we'll see and I think that's it